Hey Internet, it's RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the show today. Now today's episode, it's springtime, which means the Sapphire offers are back. So we've got the Sapphire Preferred and the Sapphire Reserve, which could net you up to 85,000 points or 850 bucks, depending on if you want to go in branch or not. We will cover all of your options, eligibility, terms and conditions, requirements, everything you need to know to make Chase's money become your money. So of course, if that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead, press the subscribe button and let's get to work. Now, a few things here. So again, there's an in-branch offer for the Sapphire Preferred that will do better for you. We'll talk about that. Uh, there's no real link for it. You should go in-branch, so I'd probably do that. And then the other cards have uh, all good elevated offers as well, which we have affiliate links for, which will be down below for you for the Preferred and the Reserve. I'm telling you right now, if you want the Preferred, just go in-branch because it's better. We'll show you why. But if you do want to use the links, we do appreciate it, but I did want to get that out of the way first. So let's get into it here. Uh, there's a lot of different marketing materials, but I found the one with the happy people, as we're known to do. Now, they're outside, probably because, you know, you have to go outside to go to the branch, but they're happy. I'm taking pictures and everything, but this is a once a year event, so I get it. Solar Eclipse, what? Anyways, uh, we'll just stick here for the requirements. So you can see on the left-hand side, these are your online and affiliate offers, right? So if you wanted to chase Sapphire Preferred, you're going to get 75,000 bonus points uh, for spending four grand on purchases in the first three months from the account opening. Pretty simple. Now the Sapphire Reserve, which is the Big Brother card, uh, same amount of money, 75,000 bonus points, and the same amount of spend, $4,000 in purchases in the first three months. Now, this so much isn't promo material, but this is kind of like an internal page from the bankers that uh, Good Doctor Credit posted, and you can see specific for the Sapphire Preferred, um, you can go in branch and you can get 85,000 points if you do, so it's $4,000 in spend in the first three months, and it's an additional $2,000 in spend in total of six months, so six grand total, that nets you 85,000 points, so 10,000 extra points, basically 100 extra dollars, because you can cash these out for one cent point. So there you have it. Those are your options. Again, there you go. Um, again, as I said, I think the way to go is, you know, in in branch, but uh, just make an appointment if you do. Of course, if you want the Sapphire Reserve, then it doesn't really matter, but I would still push for the Sapphire Preferred because it's the higher dollar amount and the cheaper annual fee. Um, so we'll look at the cards in a minute, but as far as eligibility, fees, and closure, what do you need to do since requirements are pretty self-explanatory? Well, Requirements, again, these are nationwide, as you would imagine. Remember, Chase 524 is in effect, of course. Um, now, both cards have the same rule. This product is available to you if you do not have any Sapphire card and have not received a new card member bonus for a Sapphire card in the past 48 months. So, uh, basically a four-year cool-down period. You can't currently have a card. If you do have a card, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, again, both cards have annual fees, $95 and $550 respectively. They are not waived in the first year. They'll be charged in the first month that you have the card. And closure rules, you're going to want to keep the card open for one year, but even then, I don't think you want to close it. Chase has a lot of options um, you know, that we get into on the main channel. I don't really want to belabor the point of this video particularly, but if you're interested in your options, again, check out the main channel because I just did a keep or cancel decision on the Sapphire Preferred, for example, for a year ago. So we'll have that for you. But um, there we go. So, you know, the rules against basically a four year cooldown period. If you have a Sapphire card now, you can phone in and you can product change it to a Freedom Flex or Freedom Unlimited. Again, we have full videos on it, but you, you just want to make sure you've already gotten a Freedom Flex or Freedom Unlimited intro offer. You don't want to product change when you haven't had the product because you can't get an intro offer on you know product change and then you'll have had that card so you could do that wait a little bit and then apply that would be fine that's what i did um you know last time around when i had the sapphire reserve that'd be fine but again those are your rules overall not not too bad so um let's take a look at the cards themselves that'll probably help you make the decision a little bit um sapphire prefer i've had both of these but the sapphire prefers the one i had most recently so it's a 95 dollar annual fee Five back on travel via the travel portal, uh, two back on regular travel, three back on dining, on three back on streaming, three back on online groceries. No target Walmart or wholesale clubs. Do keep that in mind. 
one back on everything else. Uh, benefits, no foreign transaction fees, 10% anniversary points based on total spend, $50 hotel credit via the Chase portal. I did a whole video of this on the main channel, redeeming the hotel credit. It's very easy to do. And I did get full value as proven out there. So it's in our Chase playlist on RJ Financial if you want to see that. Um, superpowers, again, you can combine ultimate reward points from other cards like the Freedoms or the Ink cards. Uh, transfer points to airline and hotel partners. And of course, you get 25% points boost when booking chase through the travel portal using points big brother sapphire reserve 550 dollars annual fee i uh, three back on restaurants three back on travel five on airfare on airfare through the travel portal 10 on hotels and rental cars through the portal 10 on chase dining and one back on everything else $300 travel credit. It is really, really easy to use. Things you don't even think would count would count, like parking garages have triggered it when I had it. You didn't even mean to use it, and you used it. So you can count that at face value. Uh, TSA PreCheck or Global Entry, they did announce that they're they're going to raise the credit to $120 in October when the price of Global Entry does go up as well. So you'll be covered if you don't get it right away. Uh, Priority Pass, Sapphire Lounges, plus two guests. They are starting to open their own lounges. Travel insurances and primary CDW, which people do like. Uh, same superpowers, except this time you get 50% points boost booking travel through the portal. So there you go. Overall, I mean, I think they're fine cards. Uh, I mean, you know why we're here, right? So I guess it doesn't really matter too much because that's a year two decision. Um, what should you do? Well, I kind of said it earlier, but because you've got so many options, I mean, I would go in branch. I would make an appointment. Last year when I made an appointment, I was there for probably 10 minutes. It's much quicker than opening a bank account for some reason. Um, I don't know why, but they can get you out much quicker and uh, you're in and out and you get a hundred extra dollars or 10,000 extra points, which does matter, especially on a four year chart. Now that's just, again, just for the Sapphire preferred. If you, and then in year number two, if you really want the Sapphire reserve and you can wait a year in year number two, well, you can upgrade to the Sapphire reserve if you wanted to. Um, you know, I, if you just want the Sapphire reserve, well then, I mean, just do your guy a favor and use the link down below. Cause it's, as far as I know, the time of taping it's 75 K no matter where you go. Um, but that's how I would I would do it. That's how I did it last year. Then of course I just chose to downgrade it versus you know upgrading the card or you know keeping it. But uh, I would definitely go for the higher one. Again, I don't think we're going to see ninety. I think eighty five is it for this year. I think eighty five is fine. Still a good offer for a ninety five dollar annual fee card. Um, so if you've been waiting, I would definitely jump on these. I think it's. I think it's worth it. Again, I did it last year. I can't do it this year because you know, I'm way over 524 and it's only been one year. I got to wait three more years, which again is why getting the higher dollar amount matters. And again, I don't want to talk people out of using the links, but uh, you know, I, I think we have an obligation to say, hey, the higher offers in branch, it won't take that long. An hour of your time is worth $100. I assure you that it is. But anyways, that is the offers overall pretty good. Um, as far as redemptions go, I said it, I think we've talked about it, but um, they're, they're classified as ultimate reward points, but you can cash them out for one set of point, which is what I did. Um, you know, people will argue there's much better value. I would not argue with you. You can transfer them out to transfer partners, Hyatt, United, uh, Marriott. Those, are, those tend to be popular ones. And then the points currency goes one to one. So whatever you can get for Hyatt points or what have you, that would be your new value. Of course, you go through the travel portal, you do get the elevated rate of either 25% or 50% points boost as well options as well if you have other we've talked about the ink cards you know multiple times here we've talked about some freedom cards so if you've got points over there well you can move them over to the sapphire cards and then you either ship all your points out to partners or go through the travel portal as well um, again the credits are easy to use so you know i'm a fan of these offers again i did it last year i, I would do it again if i could but it's gonna, gonna be a while so uh, let's hit the summary slide here to bring us home and as we've said, the target is Chase. Your products are going to be a Sapphire product. Choose your own flavor, either preferred or reserve. Um, again, it is nationwide. You're looking at either, well, I guess you're looking at 75,000 points or dollars or 85 if you choose to go in branch. So you've got some options there. Again, the uh, the main offers for, for requirements sake are going to be either spend spend $4,000 you know, within three months to get the 75. If you choose to go in branch specific to the preferred, then you're looking at spending 4000 in the first three months to get six and then you get the other remaining points back to spend two thousand dollars in the next six so six months total and then you get the full 85 and there you go um, fees yes 95 and 550 respectively not avoidable 
Again, you do want to keep these open for one year, but again, as we've said, uh, there's definitely ways to make these cards useful in your number two, even if not in the current form, by product changes and what have you. So there are your summary slides for you. Uh, again, I think these are good offers. Let me know down below which one you're going to choose. But if these are not for you or you just want to go straight to the source and get them, well, then there's ProfitableContent.com, which is the channel's blog. We have a link down below for you. We've plugged at Nauseam today, but you know, we have news stories, we have uh, bank promotion. So Chase also has that. I still think the $900 checking offer is there too. So uh, might as well just hit them for everything you can. And of course, we have credit card offers like the Sapphire line, more Chase cards and much, much more. So always down below for you. Anyways, guys, if you like this one, drop me a thumbs up down below. If I'm particularly interested, consider subscribing to the channel. So we're posting content just like this every single week, how to make the bank's money, become your money. And of course, every single day over on ProfitableContent.com. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you very soon in the next one.